Meanwhile, demonstrations at several universities in U.S. continue to make headlines. Campuses across the country saw arrests, clashes and unrest as students continue to pressure universities to financially divest from Israel. In Los Angeles, there was heavy police deployment at the University of California after clashes erupted on Wednesday. The tension was diffused and things are reportedly calm at the moment. The heavy police deployment comes after Los Angeles mayor's request. Earlier, pro-Palestinian demonstrators and pro-Israeli demonstrators scuffled over steel barricades on campus. Shortly after, the pro-Israeli group threw fireworks at the pro-Palestinian demonstrators, further escalating tensions. Meanwhile, over 300 demonstrators were arrested by the New York Police Department at pro-Palestine demonstrations in Columbia University and City College campuses. This after, the college administration called on police personnel to clear out the demonstrators and check for outsiders in the demonstrations that have been taking place. Approximately 300 people were arrested at Columbia and City College. We are processing the arrest to distinguish between who were actual students and who were not supposed to be on the ground. And we pointed out yesterday, uh, these external actors with a history of escalating situations and trying to create chaos, not to peacefully protest, but create chaos. In the last 24 hours, many arrests have been made across campuses in the U.S. Tensions also escalated between police and pro-Palestine demonstrators at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Demonstrators and police were seen shoving each other as the latter tried to remove the encampments from the ground. A tightly packed group of demonstrators huddled around police officers and chanted slogans. As students' rally have spread to dozens of schools across the U.S., pro-Palestine supporters chanted slogans and waved flags at New York's Fordham University under heavy security. The New York State Department officers removed demonstrators and camped at the Fordham University. Police also made 15 arrests. At the University of Texas, police arrested at least 17 people. The law enforcement removed the encampment and arrested demonstrators on the charges of trespassing. At the University of Arizona, demonstrators engaged in dangerous actions while officials tried to disperse them. About 20 arrests were made there as well. The support for Palestinians is not only restricted to the U.S. and the campuses there, but now the students at U.K. campuses have also started to voice their support.
On Wednesday, pro-Palestinian demonstrations and encampment were established at the Newcastle University. Students set up tents outside campus buildings and unfurled Palestinian flags. Across the UK, student activism is intensifying as more join the call for Palestinian support. Colleges are becoming stages for political expression regarding the ongoing Israel-Hamas war in Gaza. And our correspondent Susan Tarani has sent us this ground report from Fordham University in New York. Take a look. Because we're standing outside of Fordham, it's hard to know how many of these protesters are students and how many are from the outside just supporters. Now, these demonstrations come shortly after Mayor Eric Adams said that uh, the protests in Columbia University were being directed by outside agitators. It's not clear what will happen now that the building behind me is covered, but I'll show you around and you can see that there is a very heavy police presence. They have zip ties in hand. And it appears that an arrest, although some arrests have been made, it appears that more 